And so we're back. And pasensya na about that. Right, so I think we're okay now. Let me go to my live streaming. Right, so I think we're good already. Let me just double check. Yeah, so I just had to restart my PC. And pasensya na. Let me just open my chart again. And so, Sibul, I hope um, klaro naman yung point ko kanina. Um, just cut your losses po, right? Always cut your losses. Alright, let's continue. And, um, PIP. May question about PIP kanina. Alright, PIP. Musay natin si Pip. Alright, so, support is holding. So far, so good naman kay PIP. Alright, so, ato, ganito, pag ganito mga position, guys. Um, we just do test buy. Bakit? The trend is your friend, right? Pag uptrend ang stock, yes, that becomes your friend. Pero kung sideways trend pa lang, hindi, pa mo, hindi mo pa friend yan, right? The trend is your friend. So, at this case right here, we can do test buy. Mag-test buy lang muna kayo. Maliit lang ng pera muna kasi hindi pa natin kaibigan to. Now, um, at this point in time, sideways pa siya Di natin alam sino man nanalo nito. May dalawang side naman eh. Sellers and buyers, right? So, um, sino unang maiinip ang patanong dito? If unang maiinip yung holders, um, babagsak ito. Kasi, wala ako. Ang tagal ng pera, ang tagal tumubo ng pera ko, hindi naman gumagala. So, ibibenta nila yan. So, magiging, uh, magiging sellers na sila. Right? So, buyers naman, kung mainip naman sila at hindi nila, hindi na nila maintay na bumili doon sa baba, Bibili na mas taas. So, we just wait. Waiting game ito ngayon. Sino man nanalo. Just in case it goes down, then just cut your losses. Ganun lang. Right? Um, uko sa mga, pag, pag ba, sir, madam, may magkapi sa akin, then nakakapi naman ako sa iyo, magka, uh, magka, magkakasweldo na din ako sa ito. Ro. From Uku. Very good question. Right? Uh, I, that's, that's one of the reason why I am, uh, I am, what they call this? I am, uh, uh, what they call this advocating itoro kasi we're here to trade and gusto natin gawing career ang trading in the future diba so I tell you guys ang mga yumaman sa trading hindi po yumaman dahil port nila ang trade nila it's because they made trading their career and they handle funds ng ibang tao ang problema kasi pag salili mo lang funds ang trade mo um limited diba one and since fund mo yan emotions is gonna be running high right so mas maganda lang mag trade ka sa institution that's why the good traders are not trading their ports the good traders are trading into institutions pumupunta sila sa institutions or nag naguguro sila <laughs> para kumita na lalo right so yan ganun ang ginagawa so um, if you want to make trading your career be a fund manager Diba? Kaso nga lang sa Pilipinas, mahirap maging fund manager. Even me, nahihirapan ako. Right? You need to have, um, you need to study it, and you need to take a license, and you need to apply to a brokerage para ka po makapag-handle ng funds. Right? Problem with that is, it's really hard. Right? Here in eToro, ang gagamitin mo lang diploma is your statistics. Right? Your performance is gonna be set to public. Makikita ng mga tao ang trading performance mo. If they think you're doing well, People have the option to copy trade you. To answer the question, kay Uku seventy eight seven eight eight, pwede na basa copy trade. Um, if you are gonna be applying for copy trading, you're only allowed to put in maximum sa copy trade mo. Kasi ganito, right? Nagpapa copy trade ako, di ba? Because what if I copy trade someone, right? Kung performance niya, mapupunta sa akin, kasi kinakapit ko siya. Tapos ko copy na ako na iba, right? So parang nag middleman lang ako, di ba? There's a limitation there. Only 25% of your port should be copy traded from one uh, from someone else. Pwede ako mag copy trade ng somebody. Right, pwede si Choco Win kasi aggressive siya ilagay ko support ko. Diba? If I think if I believe in Choco Win, I just don't like very aggressive players because it's not me. 
but I have the option to do that. If I want to copy trade Chocowin, I can only do that with 25% of my port para makopya rin ng iba. So, kung kumopya ako ng Chocowin, makopya rin yan sa iba actually. Um, if you're, if you're asking me, magkakasweldo ka rin ba sa eToro? Yan, number one, number one limitation is 25% lang allowed sa sa'yo. Number two is, you need to have um, around 40,000 AUM, right, $40,000 AUM under you. $40,000, around 2 million pesos under you. Pag nakarating ka po sa ganyan, then you will become a rising star. That This is where you become paid na. Actually, ngayon, malaki ang funds under me. This is 8 million pesos. I'm not yet a rising star. So, hindi pa ako binabayaran ni Itoro actually for handling funds of others. But, patience comes with reward. So, by the end of this month, most probably, magiging rising star na ako. So, sisweldohan ako ni Itoro. And if you wanna ask ng sweldo, because I really wanna be transparent, because I, w- I wanna inspire you guys to become traders also. Um, dalhin natin ang bandera ng Pilipinas sa international market. Um, if you're a rising star, you get $500 a month. That's 25,000 pesos a month. Right? If you're a rising star. Pag champion ka, dito na maganda. Mas maganda actually. Maganda na yung 25,000. But if you become a champion, to become a champion, you should have around 150,000 actually qualified na ako. Pero hindi ka pwede maging champion right away. You have to have few months interval before ka ito count as champion. So, if you wanna be champion, if you become a champion, meron kang $1,000 a month from eToro. That's more or less 50,000 pesos a month on top of what you're earning on your trading. So, not bad, di ba? So, ang ganda niyan. Right? And then, pag edit ka, mas malaki pong pera. Mamaya na ko lang i-discuss yan. Um, so, yun. Uh, if you want to become a trader, be, uh, start your career here. Right? So, dito tayo sa Copy People. Right? Andito, uh, um, most copied. Pwede nyo po tignan dito. So, proud to say, andyan na po tayo sa most copied. Right? So, this is a very... Um, very big achievement for us. Um, sila, karamihan, binabayaran na itoro. Ako yung isa sa most copied na hindi pa binabayaran. Blue star lang ako. Blue star meaning um, kadet pa lang ako. So, the most copied, ako, po, ako lang yung most copied na hindi binabayaran ni itoro sa pinakauna. Right? So, pero at least, andyan tayo. So, that's something we can uh, we can be proud of. Um, at least, may magdadala na ng Pilipinas na, na ano, bandera dito. Right, so going back, PIP, we're done with PIP. We still have time. It's 9.10. Bilisan ko na ito. DD, may question about DD. Double Dragon. Yan guys ha, kung gusto nyo maging trader, you can start this as a career. Start with eToro. Ang ganda mag-trade sa eToro. Um, P, D, Double Dragon, um, somehow, somehow, it, it did a breakout but did not sustain. Pag nag-breakout po yan, nag-sustain po ng breakout, that would be a good entry point. It's either a breakout or a pullback to MA20. Get in your 20 MA20 as 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 much as you can. All right. So Double Dragon has already been doing well. Uh so ayun, um either that lang po. Dalawang pwede niyo pong gawin diyan sa baba or sa breakout lang. So let's see in the future. Right now I don't want to recommend it yet. Wala pa tayong buying position right now. Si Bloom naman um hopefully this support sustains but right now wala pa so I don't want to recommend it yet. Right. <clears throat> sir, pa-check si Costco. Right, tingnan natin ma- mamaya. Uh, okay lang ba, sir? Kahit isa lang follower, basta malaki ang pera niya. Yes, pwede rin yan, Irie. Right? So, as, uh, kasi yung ano niya eh. Um, sinasabi lang ni Itoro is as long as you have forty uh, $40,000 under you. So, pwede po yan. Right? Baka i-follow mo sarili mo, ha? <laughs> yan. So, baka maglagay ka ng 2 million sa isang account, i-follow mo sarili mo. You can do that, actually. But it's up to you. Um, bull PIPD the bloom yeah with bloom wala pang buy signal 80 yeah it's at last uh, no buy signals yet downtrend ang nakikita natin we're seeing lower highs so ingat lang muna kay at last um, ATN yeah it's ATN naman nagpo pull back pa let's wait for it to do a bounce again anytime soon right bounces are the best entry points kung inaabang nyo sa ATN we have an uptrend line right here so, lapit po kayo dyan. Dyan po yung entry points natin. Just keep buying the dips of ATN. Every time it goes near support, ATN is a very good company. If napapansin nyo po, hindi na bumabagsak yan because the institutions are holding on to ATN. Inaalagaan nila yan because that's good for long term. So, ATN guys, hawakan nyo po yan. Um, keep buying the dips. Maganda yan in the future. Right? Payayamanin kayo yan. PA. 
right pacifica um we do have a support right here doji siya kahapon so it's really we don't really know where this is going but if you want to get in pa if you believe in the company get in here the support as much as you can simple as that um green naman uh we have a support for green right um tinanggal ko ulit sa green sa list ko because we don't really know for sure if it's gonna sustain the support again but if it's gonna go green today that's a good entry point right as long as that support holds and enter, enter green right so green and then next kay green si x si x naman ayo nag break ang support cut loss na dapat sinasabi ko sa inyo cut loss na kasi we don't know where it is gonna go right now bumabagsak pa si x so we don't know for sure where it's going so stay away lang muna tayo kay x scc SCC naman, um, we're waiting for a pullback. We have a pattern here for SCC. It's either a pullback, antayin natin sa MA20 perhaps, or the breakout. So SCC, I don't want to recommend it yet. We did talk about SCC. I even recommended it here. Ngayon nasa taas na, it's really hard to, uh, really hard to say what strategy is best for SCC. Yun lang po ang trading. Yun lang po ang ginagawa ko. I wait for the stocks at the bottom and then I play for I play these stocks and then sa bottom or if ever uptrend na siya mas maganda sana if mag, mas klaro yung pullback pag ganito medyo mahirap ang play dyan so I really can't recommend SAC as the, the moment don't worry guys i -re recommend ko naman yan pag may, meron na tayong buy signal eh, ra? I recommended SAC doon sa bottom Meg naman um, I don't let it play Meg right now kasi medyo nasa taas na siya don't like playing stocks na nasa taas but if you wanna test it out uh, maganda na yung volume niya um, na hit na natin yung ta taas na RSI eh. but if you wanna play out with Meg get in near MA20 as much as you can okay dito nyo po pasukin si Meg I don't, right now I don't wanna recommend it kasi malayo na siya right very high risk position na for, for Meg MBT si Metro Bank naman um, somehow MA20 is su sustaining we have a support right here hopefully it goes green today pag nag green yan today then buy it and test buy lang right, but Overall, MBT is a good company. So, pwede na po natin testing yan. We're seeing higher highs and higher lows. That's an uptrend right there. So, anytime soon, baka mag-green yan. Pwede natin itest na si MBT. Lotto. Nope, not lot. Lotto. Lot, lot. Yan. So, Lotto dropped. And we have a support right here. So... It's very volatile right now. No one can predict the movement anymore. Hindi po po gustong ganito mga volatile stocks already. Right? As much as possible, dun tayo sa predictable pa sila na medyo stable ang galaw. Right now, it's unpredictable. Pwede this is just a bounce because of the sudden drop. But pwede po yung mag-continue. So, I can't really say if it's good to enter Lotto. <coughs> right? So, I want to recommend stay out of it. For the meantime, let's wait for it to stabilize and let's see if we can find a position in the fur in the future All right um uh bull and bear you're welcome um let's go to ism All right say so ism just hit the support again uh we don't have a buying signal for ism so i'm not recommending ism yet maybe it's gonna be go green today so pag nag green yan today pwede nyo pabasukin for the end of the day para sure kayo na green siya right now i can't see a buy signal for now so Ingat lang muna. Alright, we are seeing a divergence. So, this is something very good. Pababa ang presyo, but RSI is starting to go up. Meaning, mas maganda itong bottom na ito. There's momentum. So, definitely a buy if it goes green. Right? Si ISM, tayo lang natin mag-green before we wanna get uh, we wanna get in again. MRC. Alright, MRC naman, same. Very good position right now. Good bounce on the support. Right? So, MRC, you can test this out. I think this is gonna go sideways already. Starting to start stabilize look at the bollinger bands pasikip na si bollinger band so we're staying seeing stabilization already um you can test this support out if you want to all right i think this is gonna be very good yung mga aso ko makukulit quiet ingay eh <laughs> dito ba nagkulitan sa loob ng kwarto ko right mrc um next kay mrc is um asan ako Tapos na tayo kay Meg, um, Jack. Um, teka lang, ah. asan ako? Nawala ako. Lot MRC is the last. Apo. Ayan, si Apo naman, guys. Ayun, sa mga naghabol kay Apo, I told you, wag na wag maghabol sa taas. Hopefully, hindi kayo naghabol. Right now, it's looking good. Right? Ang daming naipit. Right now, maybe it's gonna bounce anytime soon. 
Antay natin yung bounce niya kay Lo Apo. We don't we're not seeing any bounce yet. So I don't recommend it yet. Yan yung sinasabi ko, wag maghahabol sa taas unless hindi niyo unless alam niyo yung ginagawa ninyo. Um Apo B core. And si B core naman, start the support is still sustaining right here. Ang ganda pa rin ang support ni B-Core. Um, somehow, RSI is starting to go up. So, this is good for B-Core, right? Um, this is solid support for B-Core. Um, pag nag-green yan, get in B-Core, test it out. Napakalit ng risk na B-Core right now. Just in case we're wrong, just cut your losses. Kasi pag tama tayo, ang laki rin naman ang pwede natin kitain. Right? So, that's basically what trading is. Right? So, just test it out today pag nag-green yan. Hopefully, it goes up. If it goes down, just cut your losses, please. Right? Um, uy, ano? Good morning, Silingan. <laughs> this is from, ano? May nag-comment. May nabasa ako. So, from Benua. Good morning, Silingan. Good to be back here in comment section. Hehe, <laughs> proud bisdak here. Tagamandawe. And view, happy viewing here in Taiwan. Alright? So, good morning sa inyo dyan. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so, so B-Core, guys. Malapit na mahinog yan, guys. So, yan yung inaabangan natin. So, I'm just waiting for it to go green and then you can enter. Si Web naman, yes, there is a divergence here. Okay, Web. Pataas naman yung RSI niya. So, this is a much better bottom right here. Um, very good support at this. If you want to test it out, use this as your support, right, for Web. Pwede nyo po testing yan. I just don't want to recommend it yet. Um, I'm waiting for the annual report ni Web. See if it is gonna make an effect. Uh, best entry ko lang kay web if ever mag show siya ng higher high sa akin that would be a good confirmation for web na reversal na siya so I don't wanna be recommend uh, I don't wanna be aggressive with web Tugo naman Willan Osorio Tugo is looking good actually may, may nag hold ako kay Tugo actually Tugo is doing well we have a bounce at Tugo here you can test that out if you want to right um, yeah I can recommend it here nag break na siya ng MA20 eh. so that should be an uptrend this is good pr price action I wanna add Tugo on my list for today officially Tugo pwede nyo pong tingnan si Tugo right good pick um DD Bloom ATN asa na ako last si B Core Web MB right may question about MB um pwede long term si Meg yes pwede na may long term si Meg it's a good company just that wag nyo pong papasukin ngayon mamaya nyo na pasukin pag bumagsak si Web si, si Meg right medyo mataas na siya ngayon eh MB naman nag-trigger sa upper Bollinger Band. This might be something good. Alright. So, um, let's see how much our risk is. Uh, huh? Price range, 3% below support. Ah, medyo risky po siya. Ang laki, ang layo ng galaw ni MB kahapon. Um, risky position. Um, but there's volume. Right? Um, uh, nag Bollinger Band trigger siya sa taas. So, yeah, there's momentum in this stock. Tignan nyo po today, if marunong kayo mag-momentum trade, right? We don't have a position here. So, if you're a position trader, no-no ito, right? We don't have any position right now. But there's a breakout. Can I, can we consider this a breakout? Yeah? If you ever gusto nyo po humabol, you can use this as your support, right? But this is for momentum trade. This is an aggressive entry. Market is not looking well. So, I don't want you to be aggressive. But just in case... What if tama tayo, di ba? Because there's volume. The chart is telling us there's volume, there's momentum, at nag-breakout siya. Use a breakout strategy. 0.61 will be your support. Cut loss will be negative 3. Alright, just in case you fail, 0.58 will, uh, po point, point 58 will be your cut loss, okay? Mag-cut loss kayo sa 0.58 if you want to enter MB. Alright, Geo. Alright, so Geo, I can't call it right now kasi dito ko po siya ni-recommend umakit na so congratulations sa pumasok when I recommended it um antay lang tayo ng pullback guys before we wanna enter Geo not really no need to be really aggressive in this stock but yeah Geo is looking good as of the moment noon sana no ni-recommend ko siya right PHA right PHA sustaining the 1 peso right our entry point is um, biggest support is one peso, but I already shared to you my ideas kanina. I already test by yesterday, nag test by ako kahapon. Konti lang, because I don't really know if this support is gonna sustain. There's a good support right here. There's very big buying there. Right? Look at the volume starting to increase, pero ang presyo naman hindi naman bumabagsak. So that's people accumulating. Uh, may nakita na tayong accumulation. So I think this is gonna sustain. That's why I bought yesterday kay PHA. If it goes down, I'm just gonna be buying more. If it stabilizes again, 
because I know the stock is gonna go up. So PHA definitely a buy for me. Um, even today, wala nga lang, hindi nga lang siya green, so I don't wanna recommend it officially. Nag-aantay ako usually ng green before I wanna recommend it. Um, CHP guys broke MA20, so that's something bad. So most probably tapos na yung uptrend niya, so stay away from it for now. ECP, um, Alright, so ECP, alright, we have a support. Nang sustain naman siya sa support. Let's see if we have another bounce right here. Actually, ito yung sinasabi ko, diba? This is an engulfing pattern. This is all, all usually a signal for me na tapos na ang downtrend. If you haven't watched my Bollinger Band video yet, check it out. This is an engulfing pattern with Bollinger Bands. This is a signal that this downtrend is finished. So most probably it is. If we're right, um, the, the entry here is this support right here. So, pag nag-bounce yan, that will be your entry point. Abangan natin yan today. Right? Most probably, marirecommend ko si ECP bukas. Right? Kung nag-green yan today. So, ECP, guys. Um, malapit po mahinog. Abangan nyo na po yan. Panoorin nyo na yan today. Meg. Yun nga lang, hindi ko linalagay sa list ko kasi wala pa eh. Um, wala pa talaga yung signal niya. So, baka mag-fail ng support. So, mayroon may, may po kayong seminar next month. Hopefully, meron sa Cebu area. Hopefully, Benoit, yes. Um, we're planning one in Cebu for next month. I'll let you know for sure. Alright? Um, asa na ako? Meg uh, MPI. And si MPI naman, um, nagpo-pullback pa. Ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo, MPI. Alright, the support is here. Well, breakout should be good. So, nga lang, hindi siya nakapag-breakout. Ayan. But we have a support right here. So, I don't want to recommend it yet as of today, for especially for trading. But for long term, definitely MPI is a good company for long term. So, just keep buying the dips. If you're into it for long term, you should be celebrating na bumabagsak siya ngayon because this is your opportunity to buy more. Next is SOC, si Sok. And guys, I don't think ma madadaanan natin to lahat. Ha? So, uh, I'll do my best uh, as much as I can para ma-cover lahat. SOC naman. Ayun, nagkaipita na naman. Antayin lang natin yung bounce niya before we wanna enter SOC right now. Wala pa siyang, uh, wala pa siyang bounce sa pullback niya. So, stay away lang muna. Um, T naman, mayroon si T. Uy, very good volume kay T. Right, so baka mag momentum na naman to. So, momentum trade for T. Right, you can use a breakout strategy. At least may base kayo at gusto nyo pumasok kay T. We don't really know if it's gonna go up, but... So far, so good. The signals are telling us na baka umakit si T ngayon. So, pwede nyo po yung momentum trade yan today. So, good find. Alright? Abangan nyo po yan. Um, green, ABBA. Ayun si ABBA. Ito, pag-usapan natin si ABBA. Not recommending ABBA yet. We're seeing downtrend pa kay ABBA. The price action is going down. So, very volatile as of the moment. I don't want to play with volatile stocks. I want, I want ABBA to stabilize muna for now. Right, so pasensya na guys if hindi ko po masagot lahat. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be online today so hindi ko po masasagot ang uh, karamihan sa mga sagot ninyo because you know the predicament of the family. So as much as I can, right? whenever I'm free, I'll do my best to answer your questions. So enjoy your trading. Ingat muna sa trading. Don't be too aggressive. Again, the trend is your friend. If sideways trend pa yan, if nanguhula kayo ng bottom, hindi nyo pa best friend yan kasi hindi pa uptrend yan. Right? So, don't be aggressive in those positions. Always cut your losses. Right? That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Same time. As always, let's get rich together. Have a great day. Bye-bye.